Has there ever been a game more appropriate or needed at any given moment than Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch? I say no. We are deep in the grasp of a global pandemic. The apocalypse is upon us, and this game has shown up to single-handedly save us from the mental distress and agony that has been wrought upon us. This game is damn near perfect. It might be the greatest game ever made. Now, I know what you're thinking, and yes, you can hear my neighbor mowing their yard out the front of my house, and I apologize for that. There's nothing I can do about that other than escape that annoyance and pick weeds by hand like a normal, non-savage person on my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I got distracted. What I'm trying to say is Animal Crossing New Horizons is freaking fantastic. Almost everything about the game is delightful. Just look at how wonderful and beautiful the game looks. Everything is pristine and fun, delightful, pretty. There are fish to catch, fossils to dig up, butterflies to catch, all sorts of wonderful things. But the game is not perfect. I've got a few things that I think would make the game even more perfect than it already is, which I just said it isn't, and earlier I said it was. This is all very, very confusing for me. So the first thing that comes to mind for me is the durability in the tools. They will break after a certain amount of time. Now you can Google and get a number for how many whacks of an axe it will take before it will shatter. And you can write that down on your hand, perhaps, and, and study this and draw check marks next to your drawn on your hand number, and eventually you'll, you'll know when your things are going to break. But that's crazy. There should be some sort of indicator in-game, I don't know what it is, but something that lets you know this tool is about to break. It's so easy to go day-to-day -day and to not know where you are in that regard. Go to an island, your stuff breaks, and you gotta go craft one, buy one, whatever the hell you gotta do. We did this in Breath of the Wild, and it was a little bit better there. Here, there's no communication at all that it's about to break. It just happens and can leave you kind of stranded. A little annoying. Another thing in the crafting realm is the inability to craft multiples of one thing at a time. If you want to craft... Let's say you've picked all these weeds and you're going to craft hay bales to sell them for more money. You have to sit there and craft hay bale, hay bale, hay bale, over and over. And it takes a really damn long time. It's super tedious. Let us craft multiples of something if it's in our inventory to do so. Another irritating thing about crafting and perhaps even crafting multiples, is that if you are in your house where your storage is, the crafting bench will not see all the inventory in the house which you are in. You have to back out of your crafting bench, pull that out of your inventory, put it in your pockets, then go back and craft. Again, none of this is like the end of the world, but it's, it's a little annoying in the grand scheme of things in an otherwise superbly balanced game. Last but not least here is more inventory management in the game they do allow you to expand see here this character has two rows of inventory you can get two additional rows lets you carry a lot more that's awesome in your home's inventory you have i don't even know how many rows maybe a million i haven't counted someone double check for me could be a million you can hit y on your switch and sort by time or by type in your inventory to keep it more organized in your pockets no such option is available and if you're someone like me with ocd you're sitting there dragging things around sorting it by hand just give us the ability to hit y and sort it it's already in the game just let us do it in another spot so what have i missed here i know there's definitely things that are in animal crossing or missing from animal crossing that you guys would love to see that i didn't mention if you can think of anything else Throw them in the comments below. Tell me what you think of the game. Personally, I adore it. I think it's the absolute perfect game for right now to let us escape, in all seriousness, the horror that is going on in the outside world in this time of social distancing. Um, hopefully everybody's staying safe. Using a game like this to escape some of that and do something more pleasant, visit each other's islands instead, perhaps. So, yeah. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
What improvements would you like to see? What improvements did I miss? And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.